Welcome to Mtron Training Part 1. In this training tutorial, we're going to be learning how to download and install our Mtoon software onto our laptops and making sure that we have all the basic details covered so that we can move into the training course and start to take a look at all the features and functions that the software is going to offer. We're going to have a lot to cover. Let's jump into our video so we can get started. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at how to download and install our Mtoon software onto our laptops we're also going to be taking a look at setting up our Ethernet connection that's going to be between our laptop and our Mtron. And then also just taking a look at how to get online with the Mtron. In this video, we're going to be looking at much more further in-depth software analysis and tutorials as we go through the training course. This is the basics. This is where we need to start from. So what we're going to do here is go on to mtron.world. That's going to be Mtron's main page for their website. Uh, I'm on that right now. What I'm going to do is move over here into the downloads area. If I click on downloads, it's going to bring me to the page where I'm going to download the Mtoon software. That's going to be found under downloads here, under software. We can see as the prompt comes down here, uh, it's going to show me the latest and greatest software and firmware build. They have to be downloaded together. We can see if we look below here, there's previous software and firmware builds. This is going to be the latest that we're going to find here. We always want to install the latest software whenever possible. This is about a year old or approximately a year old at this point in time. So we're going to find, we want to click on this particular software and firmware build. If I click on this, it's going to go through the process here of starting the download of the exe or executable file. This is what's going to allow me to install the software onto my laptop. Right now, it's finished that download. So depending on your internet speed, that might take you longer. I have a really quick internet speed here at my location. I'm going to click open file. And that's going to allow me to start using this executable file, installing the Mtoon software onto my laptop. We can see right now, it's going to say, do you want to start the process for installing the software? I'm going to say yes here. And then allow it to go through the auto prompt and auto installation process. There's a license agreement. I'm going to accept the agreement right here and click next. We're going to find that it gives us the location of where it's going to be installing the Mtron documents and information and all of the things that are associated with the Mtron system. That's going to be our C drive program files, x86, Mtron. So if you need to locate anything specific with the Mtron on your laptop, that's going to be where it's found. You can change that location. I don't recommend you do that. I just recommend you allow it to install into this particular folder that it's going to be set up for already. I'm going to click Next. It's going to tell us that it's going to create a start menu in our startup menu. It's going to create an Mtoon specific. We can just click on um, Allow it to do that as well. I want to go here and click Create a Desktop Shortcut. That's going to allow us to just simply click on an icon link on the desktop to prompt open the software when we want to use it. This is definitely very useful. You can also create a quick launch shortcut. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to create a desktop shortcut because that's traditionally where I go and source all my software to fire up and start to run. So I'm going to go here and click Next. Now it's going to tell me all the information of where that location is going to install into is going to be the startup menu folder, what that's going to be called, and then create a, a desktop shortcut. That's the, the task that it's going to be assigned to. Let's click install here and allow it to go through that process. It's extremely quick to unzip uh, and, and, and start to e e execute the file that we've installed. It's going to tell me here on the information that it's going to tell us to go back to this website here if we want to go and get the latest updates. Um, it's also going to tell us here that we want to make sure that we're setting up our Ethernet connection. We're going to go over how to do that in this training tutorial. This is definitely different than other standalone systems because it uses an Ethernet connection rather than a USB, which is a little bit unique to this application. We're going to click Next here, and then we can see Launch M2. Click Finish. Now it's going to start to launch the software. Now it's going to tell me here a new version of M2 has been installed. You want to use the new default dash and parameter configurations. I'm going to say yes. Now, I did have the Mtoon software installed on the laptop. I deleted it off my laptop here just to reinstall to go through the uh, beginning of this video here so we can start from the basics. So in this case, I'm getting this message. You're most likely not going to get this message if you're doing a fresh install of the Mtoon software. I'm going to click yes here. It's going to tell me, do we want to use the new uh, default logging layouts? Um, that's going to be for the new version of the Mtoon. That's fine as well. I'm going to use that and just say yes, since it's going to be just, again, essentially over installing all of the software again. So click yes. Now, one thing here, we'll allow it to open up. In the release notes, it's going to tell us what the latest update is going to be and then the actual updates that are found within that particular release. So the software version that we're using right now was released 
September 1st. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.